before it starts in the trenches establish the run stop the run that's the formula for success for this Auburn offense throwing on the first play Lauren in home and road for Bo Nix so much better at home than on the road back to Schwartz feed the hot snap the stretch of 251 attempts with a tackling machines second and nine for Nix swings it to Bigsby out of the backfield for the Tigers Tigers 40% on third down so far this season. Nick's in trouble, and down he goes, cannot escape. Barreling downfield to pick up 11 yards. Time, Auburn's been passing the football. Time. Ow, what a finish. They're passing attack. Second and eight, and a little swing, and Schwartz is not able to feed. Consistently, and you wonder if this was a backwards pass. Awfully close. Third and eight for Auburn. Try it again, but it's too far in front of Bixby. Really? This is DJ Williams they fake it to. Nix is in trouble, eludes the sack, and somehow gets rid of it. Referee Jason Autry is going to arrest those pipe the preseason with the biggest play. That's a 40 elbow would have established him down before it popped out. All at their own 20 yard line. During this global pandemic, for the fans and for the students uh, here at college in this very unique season that we're uh, we spoke with them. Missed tackles all over for Art. He's out there now at right tackle. On a in there as a blocker. Second and ten. Forty days, but they've been getting ready for the season for longer than normal. Tackles and being decisive to the line of scrimmage. First time either team's been in the red zone, and Bo Nix cashes in at the goal line. Touchdown. <laughs> It had been a quiet day for Bo Nix as a rusher. Two carries. This time he said, you know what? It's time for me to get in on the act. He won rush attempts. That's no scoring pressure. They can stick with the run. On a third and five, Tigers will finally sling it, and it's in instead of going for it on this fourth and five. It certainly looks like that's how he's lined up. Sorry, done it twice, make it now three times this year. Trying to pin Arkansas deep, and that will be inside the 20-yard line. Nice short yards and a goal line stop. Rear. Nix wants to go to the air. Wide open is Seth Williams. Stiff arm, first and goal. Nasty stiff arm it was. Is it something we've seen a lot of from Auburn? Downfield pass, by far the furthest downfield we've seen this game is Seth Williams with a physical finish. Try him again, one-on-one, -on -one, incomplete. See him not come up with those red zone throws. Fake to Biz Bigsby, and Nix keeps it in. Third and goal. It's Land right there on the pin of your shoulder. Injury is a huge factor for both teams. Now that it's calmed down, there is no rain right now, so that's good news. <laughs> Nix, and that's a throw right at the sticks to Seth. So two of seven now on third down, and Nix goes back Williams' way, but it's a wide Eleven throw. Ten. Tank big. On a third and six, Nix is flushed out. First down run. So concerned about. Bo Nix is a great athlete. You've got a great athlete, a quarterback. You win with the pressure that you want. Sometimes you get what you want. 12-yard gain for the quarterback, keeping it again. And a sophomore. A second and eight, he throws to Schwartz. And Schwartz, even though that they're able to move the football on this drive. Bossing somebody on the opposition, Nicks. Under pressure, tries to get rid of it and does, and there, there's no whistle yet. Now there is. Marshall for Arkansas. They're able to get there with four. See him win right now, just slips. They're turning the protection, and he slides right in there. I think he might have been down before he got rid of this football. Nix fights off the initial part of it. I'm not sure he got rid of that ball. Auburn on a third down and ten. 
Nix. Thought about pumping, but kept the football and got sacked. Out there. They're actually different people. They don't change jerseys. <laughs> you got Hayden Henry coming in there, and you had to think, does Barry Odom heat him up? Not yeah. So that's up next after this one. Anthony Schwartz with a nice cat. They've got the momentum on their side. Second and 11. Nix has a wide open Schwartz. 25 yard. Now it's been more beyond the line of scrimmage looks. And a second and six. That's your escape the pocket. They're in Carlson territory, but they want to keep the drive going. Third and six. Nix flushed out. And it's caught inside the 20 yard line by Schwartz. Well, he got the pressure, and he ends up having to flush deeper. And Schwartz, because of his speed, you're going to get that respect. And you see him coming back to the football for his quarterback. Saw him under duress. Seven catches, 76 yards for Schwartz. And new life for Auburn on first and 10 in the red zone. And Schwartz approaching the end of the third quarter from a season ago. Last play of the third, and it's Bigsby making something happen again back in around 65 yards on the ground short field for their offense to work on back to the air and it's williams in Auburn 5 of 11 on third down today. Here's a third and four. Williams, no chance on the Plains. Bender. Hasn't been featured much in the last two drives, despite 129 yards rushing. On this play, it's Seth Williams. Finally with the big play. Look at that. Seth inside the... He really did. Wide open. Great job by Bo Nix. Hurt ribs. 32 yards there. Now Nix throws it ahead to Schwartz. Wow. Anthony Schwartz. Nix on the run again to the sideline incomplete. Schenker going in motion and it. Nix flushed out to the end zone. Incomplete. Obviously coming into this game, he's about 6'3 or 4, but the catch radius, and really, that's a catch we've seen Seth Williams make. I couldn't tell if Clark got a hand. 15 yards to get in Carlson's range, but he just missed a 34-yarder. Nick steps up, loads up, and what a deflect. Second and 10. Nick's underneath. This is Bixby lanes for Bo Nix. They found their bell cow as DJ Williams will spell him on this play. Nix himself, right. And Nix will just clock it. I, now, Man, clock, clock, clock. Watch him up the snap. They're not under center much. They're rolling on the field and intentional grounding with offense number 10. The snap was fumbled, hit the ground. Then the quarterback threw it in the ground, which was a loss of bounds at the spot of the foul.